Hey YouTubers, I just thought I'd share a really a couple of really cool programs for my uh, Windows Mobile smartphone here. Um, they're useful uh, especially for preppers like us. Um, and if you don't have a Windows Mobile phone, chances are you'll find something uh, like them uh, in other places. Uh, there's a real cool movement uh, of programmers uh, called the open source movement. And basically, you can people are like creating software and then patenting it or copywriting it with the open source copyright. Meaning, because back in the past, people would like make a um, open source program and then they would, then some company would come along and say, oh, it's unpatented or uncopyrighted. So they would copyright it and then uh, sell it for profit. <laughs> but anyway, then the lawyers got together and. Uh, they uh, figured out how to uh, copyright with open source so people can um, people can uh, uh, you know add little additions to them and uh, and the guy who runs the whole that particular program can incorporate it into the official version or people can make other versions of the same software but anyway uh, this one here isn't open source but it's really cool it's called Navi Computer now, it serves much the same purpose as Google Maps here, uh, except that um, you can you have an online mode, but you also have an offline mode. So you can, uh, so you can uh, basically uh, download a bunch of maps onto your cell phone, and then if in the event that the cell towers go down, uh, you can then... Uh, you can still use the GPS and it'll show you where you are on the map and you can zoom in and you can uh, download many different resolutions of maps and uh, it's a really cool backup to something like Google Maps. Now, uh, Google Maps is of course better but you are tethered to the cell phone network and if you, uh, if you are in a situation where the cell towers go down like for a power failure or something um, you're in you're it's just useless you can't use it but this uh, Navi computer you can uh, you can download the maps and the GPS will work and you can still find your way around and um, it's not as bulletproof as a uh, as a uh, paper map of course but I always have this cell phone with me so therefore I always at least have that now a second program that's really cool is uh, this, um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, it's free OTF something or other, but it's a, uh, it's an encryption program, and it's got a, it's got a uh, version that's on the cell phone, and a version that is for the PC. So on my memory stick I have the version for the cell phone as well as the version for the PC so I can plug this thing into any computer with a USB cable and I can uh, and I can basically uh, use my really long password and uh, decrypt those files and the beautiful thing about this program is that it is open source so many programmers have gone through that code and they know for sure that it doesn't have any CIA backdoors or whatever. <laughs> now the Windows Mobile memory stick encryption protocol uh, that it's that is on board with all these Windows Mobile phones, it's closed source, so therefore we don't know what the code is. So it, it could be doing anything. It could it could have a it could be sending your encryption or all your encrypted files to some server somewhere without you even knowing. But with this uh, encrypted software program, you don't have to worry about that. And it's also more elegant. And the encryption is, more, is much more strong than uh, the basic uh, memory stick um, <laughs> encryption. So anyway, I, I've got a big, long, like 18 to 20 letter, letter and number password um, that I can get into my encrypted files. And my encrypted files are things like um, my address book, my uh, all my receipts for all the various different purchases, uh, an Excel sheet with all my purchases, things like my birth certificate, scanned copies and whatnot. 
So basically, if I had to like, if I was at work or something and my house blew up, <laughs> I would still have all of my uh, my encrypted data, all my really important information right here in the phone. And of course, the other information that I have is like things like birth certificates and whatnot. That's all in the safe deposit box. <laughs> so. Um, it's really important to have things like that in a safe place. Any prepper knows that, though. Okay, the third program, which is highly cool, is a, uh, it's called, uh, geez, what is it called? It's in settings. Um, it's Wi-Fi Internet Sharing, but it's a, uh, some guy basically just made this program and abandoned it on the internet <laughs> and anybody can download it who has a Windows mobile phone and what it does is it redirects your uh, your um, cell phones uh, uh, internet uh, source for example if you have unlimited internet like I do um, you can then hit this uh, button here and this program turns your cell phone into a um, a uh, router a wireless router for a uh, you can run up to like five laptops um, with this uh, program and they can surf around the the internet and do thing do all, all the normal stuff now this is only a 3g phone so it's not really super fast it's not as fast as my normal internet but uh, two is one one is none just like all preppers say and if if this uh, like for example my internet did go down not too long ago and uh, I was able to uh, log on to the internet using this phone and one of my tablet PCs so that is highly cool so those are some three really cool programs that uh, Google actually not Google Maps the Navi computer program and the uh, encryption program and I'll put links up for those and the uh, and that uh, Wi-Fi uh, internet sharing program. The, all, I, if you have a Windows Mobile phone, especially with unlimited internet, uh, I would highly recommend getting that router program. And it's free. <laughs> now it might be that the writer of that program, the author, maybe he put it on the internet and then abandoned it because there might have been some kind of lawsuit thing or something because he's uh, enabling people to use the uh, unlimited internet without paying the extra fee for that service that the cell phone company uh, demands. So um, there's no support for it. There's no price for it. There's no, no way even to donate to the author, <laughs> but it's there and it's an important resource. If anything, I would recommend getting Navi Computer as a backup navigation program to find your way around. Uh, for example, if there's an earthquake and there's little there's bridges out and buildings falling down and whatnot, you can then uh, you can then basically uh, find alternate routes to wherever you need to go. Okay, that's about it. Later.